youtubers welcome to my channel try it yourself and today another quick um, winter video about how to prolong life on your berries on your lawnmowers and whatever other garden equipment that you might have that you don't use so in Indiana with the winter and fall and early spring you know on average we use in our lawnmowers about six months in a year so mid April to mid October so when the battery just sitting over here in a tractor you know and especially if I have a shed not insulated like mine so if it's sometimes getting pretty cold batteries if you're gonna leave it over here it's not gonna die in the first winter hypothetically it could but it's actually significantly gonna short uh, make the life of the battery shorter so the 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 ideal thing is to take it off and put it somewhere in a warm place in the house basement whatever and if you have like a trickle charger or whatever other chargers and a couple of times during the six months off put it on charger that's gonna be great so to do that it's on most on most uh, lawnmowers battery is located under the seat so I mean nothing uh, difficult over here but here's here's what it looks like so it's a 11 millimeter wrench sometimes if it's like too tight or you never done it before you might want to grab an, another wrench like a, either pliers or something to hold it on the other side In my case it's not too tight but when you're gonna put it back together you you really want to have another wrench over here or pliers or something because you want to tight it so this wouldn't slide around if it's not going to be tight it's going to start sparking and blah 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 which is not going to be good as well so just like that unhook put the bolts bed in here i mean this is 11 millimeter wrench uh, loosen it up disconnect so on my lawn mower it's it's right here this is your seat you just lift it up there's what's there's there where it's located so and after that you just lift up the right here it's a little grass over here and that's it obviously you don't want to take it in this kind of shape inside the house so when it's on the yard just blow this thing off and just hide it in a warm place until you're ready to move again and uh, by doing simple stuff like this you know get you are gonna add or save years on this battery because if you're gonna leave it over here for six months just sitting here on the freezing temperature this battery is gonna die in three or whatever years you know if you're gonna remove it could easily last you eight years or so or maybe more so when you get to the storage and you have a little charger like this or something like that you put negative on negative positive on positive right now it's starting to work because they're actually drawing the power from the battery then you plug it in the charger and I was charging the battery the, the battery is not charged at this point right now but to make sure that it's see the power the power is on make sure the charge is working it's it's on negative positive and it's charging see in my particular charger you have a power on light charging light when it's get to the full charge I actually disconnect the battery and let it sit for a month or so until I uh, repeat this procedure again when you have if you have a fancy charger that it turn itself off they call them a uh, trickle charger that's turning itself on only when the battery drops below below the uh, 12 volts then you can leave it on pretty much forever but in my case this is just a regular charger but word of advice you always put on the lowest charge see this one has option 12 amps and 2 amps so uh, to prolong the life of the battery you always charge with the lowest amperage it takes a little bit longer 
but it actually not gonna stress out battery as much so at this point it's gonna charge a little bit because I wasn't using my mower at this point for like month and a half already so every month maybe once in two months just do this procedure and uh, you're gonna have yourself a battery that would last a lot longer if you wouldn't do this but if, even if you don't have a charger like this storing inside the house when it's actually positive temperature it's not freezing this itself will actually make your battery live quite a bit longer if this video was helpful for you don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to the channel thank you